you definitely need to come to Toronto and come yeah. visit me in person. When's that yeah. going to happen? Yeah, I know. I, I haven't been to Toronto. I don't, I've never been to Toronto, actually. No kidding. Yeah, no, I've been to Vancouver. Yeah, I've never been to Toronto. Well. I need to come. Uh, okay, uh, open invitation. Uh, I'll take you, I'll tour you around. It's a great city, especially in the summer. Nice. So holding nice. you to that. <laughs> Good, that'd be great. So listen, David, lots to talk about. Um, I really love this film. I didn't know what to expect. You know, from the opening, you see him, he's he's kind of a mess. He's working in the garage, this guy. He's drinking his beers. Like, well, what's going on with this guy? But at the end of the day, he's not a bad guy. He's just trying his best. He just has some bum luck. So when you got offered this, you know, what was your initial reaction? Because you're not a dad in real life, correct? I, actually, I am. Yeah. Oh, I, I, okay. I, I didn't know that. I was trying yeah, to. No, I keep, keep, I keep okay. it very private. But yeah, I, okay. um, and, and at this point when I auditioned for it, um, I, I was struggling with my career and how much time do I dedicate to my career and how much time do I dedicate to my son? And I was, it was really, it was really wow. a struggle for me. And then this movie came along and I really, I knew I had to do it. I, uh, I actually auditioned for the Chuck role initially and, um, wow. and I just, yeah. And, and I called my, my reps right away and I was like, who's playing Wayne? Because I, I love that role. I feel like I identify with that role. And if there's anything we can do to kind of throw my hat in the ring, I'll do, I'll do it. And ended up, I met up with the director and, and he, he, um, this was after seeing my, uh, my Chuck audition. And he yeah. said, I got to tell you, Dave, um, it's nice to meet you, but uh, your tape really made me sick in my stomach. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, that's, I've never heard that before from someone. And he's like, because I, I, I kept seeing you as, as Wayne. Wow. And I was like, Oh, Oh, well, I, funny you oh, say yeah. that. Yeah, that's yeah. the role that I really feel like, you know, I, I, I can really do. And, and there was another actor attached at the time. And then, you know, things kind of, he shifted some stuff around. And then yeah. I got the part of Wayne and, and I, I just knew the guy. Growing up in a small town, you know, uh, East Texas, I knew yeah. these people and, and I knew I could empathize and I knew that I could kind of tell this story through, you know, through a different point of view and, and, Man, uh, with Niels and the, the team that he put around me, I just, I, I feel like I could have, I, I couldn't have screwed it up. And so he just kind of let me run with it. And I'm, I'm so grateful he did. And, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I thought you did a great job. Um, and what I think is really important about this guy, um, well, sadly, very relatable. I mean, there yes. are a lot of people out there like that, that are struggling with, you know, whether they can afford things or, 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 or alcoholism or whatever, but having to, have that break, you know, you can't take care of your own child and yeah. that your ex, you know, doesn't trust you enough. Like, what are yeah. you gonna, what's gonna happen? Like, yeah. can I leave my child with yeah. this guy and is everything yeah. gonna, gonna be okay? And he has the best intentions. He really, yeah. really does. Yeah. But what struck me watching your performance is that the slightest little thing will set him off. Yeah. He gets angry. He doesn't yeah. really get violent or anything. Yeah. But then he turns out like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he can't yeah. control it. How challenging! Like, what was it like to play a guy like that? You know, it, it, it was it was difficult. It it was difficult because, first of all, anytime playing drunk on screen, you're taking a big risk, right? Um, and you have to have a lot of faith in your director. And and I had conversations with him very early on, and I was like, you know, uh, he is an alcoholic, but I think he's a highly functioning alcoholic. There are people out there who can who can be drunk at ten o'clock and 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 work their entire day and then go yeah. home and have you know have another case of beer, like these people, it's just part of their chemistry. And I, I think Wayne has, has, is used to being, you know, medicated for, yeah. for the better, better part of his life. I mean, people in small towns, I don't know, there's like this weird masculinity thing, like in small towns, it's like, well, if you're not drinking by the time you're a teenager, then you're not a real man. Yeah. So it's like, you know, this guy, I have a feeling, you know, there's a, there's a part of the film where he has a recollection with his son. And, and, and when one of the memories that he shares with his son is his dad yelling at him to get, you know, a cold beer from the back. Right. So it's like, if this was something that like from his childhood, it was very much a part of his identity. So he, yeah. and like you said, uh, uh, um, and great observation, he was doing the best he can. These are the only tools that he had. And he did he didn't know it's a problem until he loses the thing that's most important to him, and that's his son. Yeah. And then he realizes that, oh, I have to do something. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that um, kitchen scene was hard to watch because you knew yeah. that he was going back from his memory of what he was 
dealt with with his yeah. own dad and yeah that was tough, you know, yeah. um, but you did a really good job. Okay. We got to talk about your co-star there, Cooper Friedman. Oh my yeah. God. This How good kid, I know. I he's know. A spectacular. I mean, he's a little veteran already. He's already done a bunch of things in the biz, but uh, tell me a little bit about your bonding with him. It was amazing. It was, it was immediately like we, uh, it, during the audition process, you know, I was reading with a number of kids and when he came in, he just kind of lit up the room and he walked in with like a smile on his face and it wasn't necessarily a happy scene that we were uh, reading for. And I was like, oh, and then he just like switched. And I was like, oh, this kid is an actor like this. Yeah. You know, a lot of time when you work with kids, it's like, oh, I can tell your parents taught you how to say this because you're saying it the same way every time we run it. But like right. each time he was listening and he was responding and he was like full of just like. Wow. full of life and full of, like he, he had already done like his characters like, you know, backstory. And then when I met his parents. I mean, the first thing we did was we went to an escape room. It wasn't just so when Cooper came out, he came out with his mom, his dad, his brother, his little sister and his grandma. So he wow. had like six people staying in a little bitty apartment here. And we just we were just family from the get go. We went to the escape room, went to dinner all the time. We, we uh, they had a little minivan, went driving around looking at all the different places. So, you know, as a person, he was really easy to connect to. And that, as an actor, it was just like, okay, as soon as we're on set, like Cooper's ready to go. Like he was super Amazing. prepared and just, just very, it, it was funny. There were a couple of times where he was like, Hey Niels, can I try something? And Niels is like, yeah, by all means go for it. Cause kids that age, typically they have a way they want to do it. They do it. And then you move on. But for yeah. him, he was just like, there's something else I want to do here. And I'm like, yeah, good for you, man. He was great. He That's was so really great. And, and there's yeah. so many great scenes between the two of you and some heartbreaking ones. I don't want to give yeah. anything away. Wow. Um, did you ever do a road trip with your dad? Ooh, you know, I never did. I, 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 like I said, I grew up in a small town and road trips and vacations were usually like soccer tournaments or like, right, or, right. or like volleyball, my sister's volleyball tournament where we drive two hours to Dallas. Actually, that's not true. We drove, we went to, uh, we went to, um, uh, where did we go? Big Ben <laughs> National Park. Okay. We drove, we drove, no, Beaver's Bend, Beaver's Bend. And we, my, my sister had, we didn't have a car that everybody could fit in because it was five of us. And my sister had a pickup. And so my mom, my sister and my dad rode in the front and me and my brother rode in the back. It was like a six hour trip and wow. we had like blankets in the back, but we didn't put sunscreen on our necks. <laughs> we put sunscreen on our face and our, and my neck was just, it was awful. Oh so, no. The trip, you don't think it's a big deal at all. But then, right. like, when you get there, like, and you try to, you're like, ah! So I was crying the whole time. Uh, we, we didn't have, we didn't, for some reason, we didn't have the right kind of stuff to start the fire. So it wasn't a great memory. But yeah. the fact that we all did it together was, yeah, that's my only road trip. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. they're fun. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking, you mentioned your sister, your sister in the, in the film is played by Kristen Johnson. Wow, like, wow, that must yeah. have been fun to work with her. It was amazing. It was so, it was so amazing. And so humbling as an actor too, like the first time I met Kristen, it's me and Niels and Kristen, we go to dinner and she's like, she's like, I can't believe Niels that you wrote this part for me. Like, I, I feel like these type of roles go to Charlize Theron. Like she, wow. Kristen, who uh, uh, the multiple award winning actress is humbled by this script yeah. and me, a guy who's been in a handful of indie movies, I'm like, Man, I'm 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 on this I'm on this journey with with some real talent. Yeah. And then once Bill signed on and then Cooper, it's like we're making something really really special here. But yeah. Kristen, yeah, she was a force. I mean, she came in for the first half of the shoot, and she had all these ideas, and she was just she was cracking me up. And I'm like, I I didn't really see Wayne as like a guy who would crack many jokes, like, but she loosened me up and she was just so warm nice. and she just could not have been a better fit to Wayne. Yeah. Like and Bill's she, great. Bill's great too. He's yeah. Really oh, Bill's, yeah. Bill's amazing. Like I, I met Bill when he flew in for the audition. So basically he had made a tape and this is a funny story. He made a <laughs> tape, uh, an audition tape and uh, halfway through the tape, he's like, ah, fuck it. And then he shuts his computer and he turns it off. And his 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 reps sent that they sent the wrong tape. Oh they no! Sent the tape of him doing his lines and halfway through it, he just said, "Fuck it." He turns it off. I don't know if I should be saying that. Sorry. That's okay. It's okay. Um, 
He said, screw it. He turns it off and they send that tape. And Niels was like, man, the confidence of this guy, the, this guy, he's Chuck. Like yeah. he doesn't care. Like he's, he's, uh, you know, he's got other things to worry about. And he was like, Amazing. you gotta meet this guy. So Niels actually flew him out from New York to LA. And when I read with him, I was like, yeah. I yeah, it worked. Yeah. There's a good, good friendship. I, I really like it. Before we go, of course, I have to mention the wilds because I'm yeah. such a huge fan. I remember telling you that when we talked for that. Yeah. I love that show. Um, season two is, is great. Uh, I want to know from you, what was it like to have the dynamic change once the guys came into the situation? Yeah. It was, it, it, you know what? I, I, I hate to say that there was any difference because at the end of the day, we're all just actors trying to make a really good show. Yeah. But I was so surprised by how warm and welcoming the girls were because I made the mistake early on of, of making like a, a, a Twitter post or an Instagram post, like, hey, welcome guys. We uh, I, we finally outnumber the girls because the first thing ah. we outnumbered. And then all of a sudden I got hit by hundreds of people saying, how dare you? It's not a competition. Why don't you want to be the girl? And I'm like, oh, wait, what am I stepping into? Yeah. So I didn't realize, I didn't realize that there was such a visceral fan base around girls only girls, because I being a guy, I don't, obviously don't feel that. But when the guys came in and seeing how the girls welcomed them and how the cast and crew like just made them feel like they were a part of the show. Yeah. And I knew, I knew that they were going to get killed because I did. Um, but the way that they handled it and, and the, the friendships that were, were formed were just really, really special. And you really get to see Rachel's um, character's true colors. Whoa, I got to talk to her a couple of weeks ago and I okay. went, man, what a bitch. Like, yeah, she's a yeah. psychopath. Like, I know. Right? What was her response? Oh, she agreed. She likes it, you know. But then we find out that she's one of the yeah. kids is her mom. I'm not giving anything away because it's a yeah. first episode. Yeah. But, yeah. oh, my God. It's right. just that, that series is phenomenal. Yeah, really. it's really something special. And, and we should find out soon. We should find out within the next week or so, you know, about some so. I hope so. I hope so. Well, listen, always a pleasure talking to you, David. So Thank much, you, it's always so much fun. And best of luck with this film, Small Town Wisconsin. I, like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. And your performance was like top notch. So, awesome. so good. Awesome. Thank you very much, Bonnie. You're very it. welcome. Have a wonderful weekend. And, right, you, uh, you know, don't forget to book those tickets to Toronto. Yeah, right? yeah. We'll hang. <laughs> All right. All right My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye